Hey. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my crib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? This has uh, 480 horsepower. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, it, it looks like a fun car. And I bet you it sounds great too. It does. All right, let's start her up. You can pop my Oh, yeah. Oh, that exhaust. <laughs> Some cool burbles. Yeah. How long have you owned this car? We bought it after the games in August, so we have we it's been six months. Yeah. So still feels new. Yeah. Um, but it's not a new one. This is a 2020. Okay. But still, have they changed the model at all, or not much? No. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Some some little things inside. Yeah. A little bit on the outside, not much. Right. Right. But, Caroline, have you driven this car yet? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes when, when he, he's not driving. When he's willing to part with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it sounds pretty good. Oh my god, yeah. It's not warm yet, so it's not gonna pop. Yeah. Fully. To make. This video is going to speak volumes to all the people that are car people. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna totally appreciate this. This is a side of Jeff Adler you're not gonna see it anywhere else. No. <laughs> Jeff, this is your dream weekend. This is nice. <laughs> nice out, windows yeah. down. Yeah. Nice car. Yeah. Oh. Lots the, of bangs. The, the sound is intoxicating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For people who are wondering, we are not in North America, we are in Mexico right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're, FYI. We're at the speed limit. Yeah. Justin Tamani. I'm uh, Tamani Photography on Instagram, yeah. and then I'm out of Toronto. Cool, cool. Yeah, and we're here at uh, Rogue, uh, not Rogue. Um, we're at the Arnold, Arnold Classic, Classic right now. I was going to say Rogue Invitation. Yeah, we're at the Arnold yeah. Classic. We're in the back uh, right now of the weightlifting competition, so the, the main weightlifting area. Um, now we got to locate Stuart. So we Stu can... was, <laughs> I think he just walked out. Yeah. All right, let's go find him.
I've never vlogged on a full frame camera and it's actually a little different. It's, it's heavy because I'm holding up uh, my actual a7 IV without a Gorillapod. Uh, I didn't bring one, so that's my fault. Um, usually vlogged or used to vlog on an A6400, which is a APS-C smaller camera, so easier to manage. But anyways, hope you guys like this series. Um, follow along if you want to see what's going on, whether or not I'm working directly with Emma or Sarah. It's kind of like a behind the scenes, all the cutting room footage that didn't make it into their videos and their content. Um, it's like some bonus material. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to include other stuff or take out stuff that you don't really care about. i really like to know. It's kind of new. I don't think any other creator is doing something like this in this space where they're kind of like bringing you along for the journey and showing you the extra bonus stuff. And that's what, exactly what it's supposed to be. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And thanks for following along. Bye. Can you guys do the one and two on you? Mm, there's no tricks, but there's checking for like verifying um, like accuracy, you, re reliability. Yeah. Like, yeah. is it like some type of psychological so, thing about changing your numbers? So yeah, if, if someone gives me a response, like if I think if someone's just choosing two the whole time, yeah. like oh two must be better, yeah. then I'll ask the same options to switch the numbers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I would do. For for you though, like you were you were reliable. Consistent. Yeah. Okay.